What's up everyone, Fridgy Phoenix here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda or Queen of Time. Today we're going to be starting off the first dungeon, the Deku Tree. First thing you're going to notice is, right where we need to go, there's a gigantic spider web. Now, you might ask, how are we going to get rid of that? Well, what you're going to want to do is climb up all the way up there and then jump down. That'll break it. But there's also some other items we need to get up here. In fact, yep, treasure chest is right there. And if I remember correctly, this has the dungeon map. Dungeon map, basically, you get a map. Every room that is blue you've been to, the flashing one is the one you're in, and any rooms that are just outlines, well, you haven't been there yet. Now, there's also... Yeah, I can know, I know I'll open up a door. Blah, 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 blah. Stating the obvious. There's also an item in here we need to get after we kill him. I don't know if I explained this in the first part, but you can use your shield with, um, R. Come on, let me get ya. So close. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. Ow, oh, ow, oh, forgive me, master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? Depends. When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold control stick forward, you'll roll on the ground when you land, and you won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee you it will work, though. If the cliff is really, really high. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, try if you're feeling bold. Wahaha. <laughs> and he leaves a heart, but we never got hurt. What was the point of that platform? You found a fairy slingshot. Why does that have to be a fairy slingshot? Why not just a slingshot? Anyways, every dungeon has at least one major item you can find in it. Usually this item is the item you need to use against the boss. And I do believe there is something up here. Um, why give me a heart in a treasure chest? There's grass in here. I can instantly respawn, respawn it. Anyway, just gotta knock that down. Ow. Climb up here. And now that we finally got the slingshot, even though I say finally and it only took me three minutes, three and a half, we can kill these guys. And there's one more. Now, I don't remember, like, what rooms are up here. I'm pretty sure there is at least one room up here that I have to go into, though. Alright. This is the first time you have to use Zago 6. Basically, just don't do what I just did. Basically, lay them on fire. And you light other stuff on fire with them. Oh, golden sculpture. You destroyed a gold sculpture. You got a token proving you destroyed it. I will explain what you 
do with those later on when we actually get to that point. I just want to let everyone know this is not, by any means, a 100% run. Though I will before I get to adulthood. Uh, I'll try to get as many sculptures as possible. Just because after you become an adult, I have I have a lot of trouble finding them. Ah, oh, the compass. Now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. So basically, this shows you where you are. Oh, can't show it with that. You're the yellow um, arrow. Yeah, it took me a minute to think of that, for some reason. The red arrow is the, you know, the entrance point of the room. The skull means that is where the boss is, and the treasure chest symbol, which is, what, one? Only one more left? Wow. Uh, that treasure chest symbol, treasure chest you haven't opened up yet. Come on, let me kill you. Actually, here. Come down. Oh, are you that smart? Apparently not. Owned by a stick. Geronimo! Um, what? Explain to me why that didn't work like it should have. I'm pretty sure I couldn't get any higher than that. Maybe I need to get some. Oh, damn, they respond. Yes, I need to get some. Oh, damn, they respond. But yeah, maybe I need to get some momentum. Maybe if I rolled and then, you know, jumped off. There we go. Don't know why that didn't work the first time. Oh, gold scotch off. Can I slash him? Yeah. Now, can I actually backflip into him? No, he's just a little bit of reach. That is our second one, and we're about to get our third one. This one you have no choice but to use the slingshot for. Alright, give me my sticks. I have to find out what's in this. Oh, of course. Yeah, if you press, um, A... Is it? Yeah. Now I have to... Relight it. But if you press A before it burns down your stick, it won't actually, you know, count as you using it. Oh, come on, you had to waste it. Come on. Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. Oh, something cool, eh? You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punch them in the proper order. Up ahead? They're like... Right before the boss room. That's like... Below us. 
Anyway, the order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I didn't even get a chance to read it? Deku seeds. These are small hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Wrong room. Listen. After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things underwater. Coincidentally, Navi tells you that in the room where you actually have to dive underwater. You swear she could read into the future or something like that. Oh, come on! It's not going to come back in time. Oh, okay. Stay next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stay next to the block and press A while pressing Control stick towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action like. You already said that, Navi. As I said the uh, last part, the first three dungeons are like tutorial dungeons. It's the longest tutorial on the face of the earth. A Deku nut. I never use them, but they can stun enemies. But anyway, it's the longest tutorial on the face of the earth, and the game doesn't really get interesting until after you become an adult. And I've said that already, if it, you know, I've spoiled it, that you become an adult, but most people's already at least seen the let's play of this game. So it doesn't really matter. Whoa, we got some nice dodging going on there. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I don't want them coming down. Go my eggs. Kinda annoying, but you know, they don't really do much. Just I'm too lazy to be bothered. Crawl through the hole. Crawling through the hole. But that's what she said. Wow, wow, wow. Come on, push it. And down she blows. Damn, that's a short, short dungeon. So, why was it? 23 is number one. So, I assume this guy's two. This guy should be three, or is that gonna be one? We'll find out now. My number one contestant, here's your prize. You get a nut in the face. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Well, you could not reveal it. 
In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. That's pretty straightforward. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. And now we go against the first boss. And pretending I have a time limit, I wouldn't even... Well, yeah, I would just, uh, finish the second part of this last play. Damn, that's a short dungeon. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Okay, first boss is very simple. Basically, when its eye is red, shoot a slingshot bullet into its eye, which has got her too. And then just slash it repeatedly until it gets up. That wasn't even 30 seconds! What? Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave off this part here. I hope you all enjoyed the second episode of Let's Play Orcarina of Time. This has been your host, Frigid Phoenix. Heart Container. More max health. Always nice. I will see you all for the next episode of Orcarina of Time.